jellyfish biologist at the Science Heart Aquarium, the California Academy of Sciences. And today I'm going to show you our live culture room, where we culture our jellyfish and our live food for our filter feeders and some small fish. little teeny tiny shrimp swimming around in there. And we have 24 hour old and 48 hour old. And we hatch them out from little eggs. So this is our baby brine shrimp. It comes in a can like this. And um, inside the can is a whole bunch of eggs. It's freeze dry. And then I take the eggs out and I hydrate them. And I take the shell of the egg off. And then I have of little eggs like this then I put them in salt water and then uh, 24 hours later they are hatched. We also culture Daphnia which is a freshwater plankton. This, this is fed to some of our freshwater fish that are um, smaller and have really small mouths. In this tank here are some little baby seahorses. They were just born on Tuesday. California. Um, they are very common on the Pacific coast. They're eaten by sea turtles, green sea turtles eat them. This is a holding tank for these animals. We have um, these jellyfish on exhibit as well, but there are too many. We had too many for the exhibit, so this is where we keep our uh, backup animals. designed um, tanks. Uh, basically it was just a square tank and then I used some plastic sheeting and made it so it's kind of like a U. And then this is where the water comes in and it sprays down and it creates um, a circle, uh, a flow. And the jellyfish need this um, because they're not strong enough swimmers to stay up in the water on their own. So they need some kind of strong um, current to keep them off of the bottom. So if they didn't have this, they would all settle down onto the bottom and probably die. So this is how we have developed to keep these animals in captivity, whereas in the ocean they would have um, lots of current to keep them suspended in the water, and here we have to make that current for them. 